Matthew Flinders was an English navigator and cartographer who is best known for being the first person to circumnavigate Australia and for naming the continent. His life was filled with adventure, exploration, and hardship, and his legacy as a pioneering explorer and cartographer has lasted for centuries. Matthew Flinders was born on March 16, 1774, in Dunnington, Lincolnshire, England. He was the son of a surgeon and was educated at the local grammar school. From a young age, Flinders showed a keen interest in the sea and the natural world, and he spent much of his free time exploring the countryside and studying the flora and fauna. Flinders joined the Royal Navy at the age of 15 and served in various capacities before being appointed as a midshipman on the HMS Bellerophon in 1794. He participated in several battles during the French Revolutionary Wars, and it was during this time that he developed his skills as a navigator and cartographer. In 1795, Flinders was given the opportunity to serve on a scientific expedition to New South Wales, Australia, under the command of Captain John Hunter. During the voyage, Flinders charted much of the coastline of Australia, Tasmania, and the surrounding islands, and he was the first person to sail around Tasmania. In 1801, Flinders set sail on the HMS Investigator with the aim of circumnavigating Australia and creating a complete map of the continent. The journey was fraught with peril, as the ship was damaged by storms, and Flinders and his crew suffered from scurvy and other illnesses. Despite these hardships, Flinders persevered, and he successfully completed the circumnavigation in 1803. During the voyage, Flinders also became the first person to use the term Australia to refer to the continent. Prior to this, the continent had been known as New Holland or simply the Southern Land. After his return to England, Flinders was promoted to the rank of captain and began work on a book about his voyage. However, his health began to decline, and he was eventually confined to his bed due to a kidney infection. Despite his illness, Flinders continued to work on his book, which was published in 1814 under the title A Voyage to Terra Australis. Tragically, Flinders died just a few days after the publication of his book at the age of 40. However, his legacy as a pioneering explorer and cartographer has endured, and his maps and charts of Australia remain valuable tools for modern-day researchers and historians. In 2019, Flinders was honored with a posthumous knighthood, 200 years after his death. The ceremony was held in his hometown of Dunnington, and was attended by members of the Royal Navy and the Australian Navy. Matthew Flinders was a remarkable individual who played a key role in the exploration and mapping of Australia. His legacy as a navigator, cartographer, and explorer has lasted for centuries, and his name will forever be associated with one of the most important and challenging voyages in maritime history. The pioneering explorer who put Australia on the map, 